Is the Roadcast Pro 2 worth it? If you come, come early, buy your ticket two ways, so you don't need to go to the line when you're back. Agora sim, né? Welcome to Capri. Welcome to my channel, my name is Little Boy, and today we're gonna talk about the new Roadcast Pro 2, but in a very different way because we are in the beautiful Capri in Italy, in this amazing island, and I'm gonna go through some questions that you guys made on my latest videos so thank you very much for your questions i'm very excited to answer and hopefully with this video i can give you some clarity about the new roadcast pro 2 and if you stay until the end i'm gonna give you extra tips and extra questions that's gonna help you to improve your audio quality using the roadcast pro 2. Okay, first question, how is the responsiveness of the smart pads? For me, very quick, very easy. I didn't have any problem with the smart pad. And you have two options to use. You can press and hold. And when you're pressing, you're able to have the effects or the things that you want to activate. Or you can just press once and it's gonna be on the whole time. Sometimes I don't recommend that because I forget to press off. For me, very good response, quick and nice. Question number two, what's the O button do next to the Phantom Power button? Thanks. No, thank you for the question. Pretty much not everyone that's gonna use that, but inverts the face of the channel, okay? We ate some pizza in Italy and it's amazing. It's literally one of my favorite pizza that I've ever ate in my life. It's the best for sure. It's so soft. The texture is amazing. Yes, I don't know how they do it. So if you're best. in Italy, highly recommend to eat the pizza here. And what was the drink? Aperol Spritz. It's a traditional Italian drink as well. I was not a big fan of it. We got to have a little taste. <laughs> Look at that. Next question. Hey guys, thanks for the great review. One question, is there a ducking feature for the main four channels? Thank you. First, thank you guys for your support, for your comment, as always. And yes, there is ducking feature for all of them. If you connect to the main channel, to the channel two, channel three, channel four, everyone is gonna be affected by the ducking effect if you're pressing or if you're pressing in hold depend of the settings that you're gonna use on your smart pads i wish that we could have the ability to adjust the attack and the fade and the volume of the ducking so we have more control over the music on the background but yes Another cool thing here, they have these fountains that you can just fill it up and drink straight from the fountain. Cheers, Nanego! Is there a setting for multi-track where I only export the files of the channels I actually record on? I thought the new request for 2 had that ability. We have the ability to record in a single track or multi-track, but make sure that you have the settings there for pre-faders or post-faders. I like to use the post-faders. Everything that I apply on my faders, it will be applied to the track as well. So I have the ability to just use later. And I do use multi-track all the time because I can have a stereo track included there as well. So I don't need the risk. You'll be able to see there multi-track or stereo. You have the ability to adjust the settings that you want for wave or MP3 when you export everything is gonna come together but you cannot select the file that you want at least for now maybe in our next update thanks for the question <laughs> next one bro is auto-tune effect available no we don't have auto-tune effect available but we are able to connect our computer and use for whatever software you want but we do have reverb effect echo and you can apply it straight to your channel 
and if you want to go deeper we have robots megaphone these guys make a video using a doll with the roadcast pro 2 like ableton i don't have any of those programs i mainly use final cut pro lightroom photoshop and that's pretty much it next question where is the link to epidemic sound for subscribing it's not a question about the roadcast pro 2 but this will help me a lot i don't know if you know if you get a certain amount of people who use your link you are able to get a little bit more of privilege and things i just need three more people you're gonna be helping me so much epidemic sound link down below i need to know how many phones can be connected to the roadcast pro i also have to connect to my computer so you have the ability to connect your cell phone via bluetooth if you want so that's one and then if you use the sc19 plug you're able to connect your phone via USB-C and lightning basically we have two plugs via USB-C they can connect on the back of your roadcast pro 2 two computers or two cell phones you choose and you can use bluetooth as well i would say you can connect three cell phones together those were the questions that you guys left on my channel and i researched on google what was the main questions that people were asking about the roadcast pro but for the roadcast pro 2 does roadcast pro 2 have phantom power yes it does and not just that when you plug your microphone in my case i use the pod mic they have the settings there for me the preset i just click there ready to go but if you have condenser you have the ability to turn on the phantom power there very very easy so can i connect to my roadcast pro 2 to my computer yes you're able to connect two computers at the same time if you want to can i use the roadcast pro 2 with zoom yes you can you're just gonna go to the settings on your computer and select roadcaster pro 2. can you connect bluetooth headphones to the roadcast pro 2 yes but i don't really recommend i highly recommend to use the nth 100 it's my favorite headphone so far because it doesn't come out on my headphone doesn't get any black marks on my forehead or on my ears super comfortable and have like a gel that's a cooling system especially for mixing live streaming podcasts all this good stuff i highly recommend one with cord so we are very very precise and we don't have any delay amazing highly recommend links gonna be down below as well for the last but not least another thing here to pee or to go to the toilet they charge 50 cents 50 cents we didn't bring any coins so we're not using the bathroom at all <laughs> just kidding no it's true <laughs> we just buy things in the restaurants and then we use the restaurants crazy 50 cents a pee i can't even imagine who to poop how much <laughs> ew, is it you it's the same cost <laughs> The ice cream here, amazing! Is the Roadcast Pro 2 worth it? So, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe this way you're gonna be able to support my channel and support my dream here on YouTube. So, thank you very much. In my humble opinion, I think it's worth it. You will be able to connect and use right away and you don't need to know anything interesting fact about the roadcast pro 2 when they announced the launch i wasn't very sure about the product because i never had the ability to play with one and after when i got one and i have the ability to play and learn it was super quick literally when i opened i tested out for probably like 20 minutes and i was ready to go in the best quality possible so now I have this passion for audio and it's very simplistic and it's very easy. You might think that to learn a new skill takes forever, but in this case, audio for me was like this and I enjoy a lot now. I think for my need, it's amazing as a content creator, videographer, editor, everything that I do, my main 
audio now is Rodecaster Pro 2 and I highly recommend. I just gotta sync all my videos later. I don't need to worry about the sound quality because I know that it's gonna be clean, it's gonna be amazing. I can see on my screen. I just gotta make sure that it's in between zero and minus six. If you'd like to keep learning, proving, and bring your audio quality to the next level, I'm gonna put a video right here for you about the new Rodecast Pro 2 features. And now, excuse me, but I'm gonna go enjoy Capri. Bye.